I trained as an artist and then I was one of a number of women artists, young women artists, straight out of art school up in Leeds who set up Pavilion Feminist Photography Centre, which is still going. And um, I just got really hooked. Um, you know, it was a whole combination of things that you have to do in staging an exhibition that really, really interested me. So that was my quite swift way in, really. I liked the mix of the intensely practical stuff with the, you know, ways of considering and experiencing art. It can be just very, very satisfying to sort of five minutes before the opening having been sort of scrubbing the floors. Do you know what I mean? Just to make this event occur in the best way that you could at the time. I don't tend to always be terribly concerned with what media a piece of work is made in. It's much more about its lasting effect on me, really, the way it reverberates on me. So it's as likely to be film or video as painting, sculpture, what have you. So it's just that I don't differentiate. I, I wouldn't differentiate in that way. So, you know, it's a very important part of what artists are making at the moment. So it, it you know, it therefore features in the shows, really. It's a very, very different thing. And I've tended actually to concentrate on pieces that are sort of roughly 10 minutes or less, because um, it, it accounts for the way people behave in galleries, the way they'd like to come and go, the way they might look at a list of films and decide which to see, so they can time when they go back to that space. Another thing, about it is the way sound works in galleries. I think it's quite a tricky thing and it's a very, very much the task of the curator, I think, to make sure you don't have sound bleed all over the place, you don't have paintings and sculptures that are meant to be seen in relative silence, you know, being bombarded with sound that doesn't belong to it. In a gallery you have this wonderful sense of people's absolute choice. They will attend to a work for as long as it holds their attention. They will walk away, they will come back, they will be reminded of it. You know, and you know, likewise with films, they sort of enter and leave and in a much, much more fluid way. So there is a big, big contrast that I'm I'm interested in. But perhaps I'm drawn to the freedoms that of a gallery really. Exhibitions have often a quite a number of origins that all kind of come together. And um, the girl show that I mentioned before had an artist called Vanessa Jane Faff in it. And she went on to make paintings about Little Red Riding Hood that I was really, really interested in. And then it was occurring to me that I was seeing a lot of work about fairy stories. And also, I suppose personally, I'm really interested in psychoanalysis. And I'd made a kind of shift from reading primarily Freud and Freud's, Freud inspired people to Jung. And that takes you into the shadow, it takes you into a whole other area, and it takes you into fairy stories and myths and so forth. So it all kind of came together like that. I've got a show called Art with Strangers opening at the Turnpike Gallery in Lee and that's um, all artists who seek out strangers with whom to make their work and that's got a lot of video content in it. And then in terms of um, another big show that I'm working on is about the idea of the underwater and so that'll... Um, uh, that again, I think fairy tale exhibition gave birth to the underwater show because I was I just started to catch catch so much work that was about the underwater and there's going to be lots of m mermaids and sea monsters in it um, and that's going to be launched at that's going to be commissioned by the Towner Gallery in Eastbourne.